hello guys welcome back to AppShift tutorial so in this video we're going to see about list addition so list addition what does it mean is so we can add together of two type two same type of list so for example so if it's a number data type the one two three we can add it with another list of same two three four some kind of thing and it's the same like addition we can also do subtraction also so for this uh, we'll see about uh, one small demo of uh, like a restaurant booking app how we can use this list subtraction will be the important use case for this so first we'll see the addition then we'll go with that uh, subtraction also so basically list addition means uh, we can add uh, two list and it will produce uh, another list which a combined of uh, the list one and list two okay so let's see the demo of the app so followed by we will see the list subtraction so list subtraction which has a very useful uh useful use cases for this app sheet development like uh, room slot booking so we'll see that one also so now we'll create a new source so this Slot booking. Okay. So, uh, for example, let's consider a restaurant uh, booking slot in that for this particular date we have to mention the slots. Okay. Slots. And usually, we will have a slot of so maybe morning slot, evening slot or uh, afternoon evening so if it's already booked we have we shouldn't show to the next user of that particular slot okay so that can be achieved using list subtraction okay. so now we'll add this sheet So we go to the columns now so for the list addition i'll just add a new virtual column okay. to show how it works so i'm going to create a list of uh, let's say morning Plus list of evening dinner. Okay. So and save this. So I'm going to add this two list of morning, afternoon, evening dinner. So let's see the final list how it looks like. Instead of here, we will give us a enum type so that will work better. We will change this to enum and uh, the text here we will give us invalidate. Now we will save here. Sorry, so we can give some basic formula, empty formula. We need to add a UX view. Uh, slot booking. So if you see here, we have 
just want to see. I guess uh, since it's a virtual polar, it's not allowing to operate. Uh, you can't able to edit the virtual column. So for this, we will make it as this one and this. Starting the new three new columns and regenerate it. We will delete this one. I will show in a better example. So since virtual column, I can't able to edit, so that's why it's not showing the how the selection of enum type. It will only calculate using the formula. Okay. So sorry guys. So now what we can do? So whatever the the list one and list two we are going to give, that we are going to make it as a formula computation of uh, column this one and list two. Does not match the expression. Okay, so this should be. We will give it the enum because uh, enum has list data type. And this auto compute the suggested values you can just give it as a list one plus list two. So the list one we need to make to the enum list actually. So enum list we will just give morning and text and the command item separator should be come out. And this list two also will make it as enum list and other two columns or the other two values which is and this item separator will be the comma. Okay. So now this list one and list two we're going to select. And the final list we're going to get the addition of what we have selected. Okay, let's, okay, let's save this. Okay, so in the final list, nothing will be there. So if you see in the suggested values. So we are going to add this list one and list two columns. So now I am selecting this morning and dinner. So if you see here, the morning and dinner came here using that list addition of data. I'm going to select all four. So we'll get all the four. So this is one of the use case of uh, list addition. Now we'll see the subtraction. So subtraction has a good uh, use case in app sheet applications so now we will just uh, we don't need this okay we'll just and hide now what we are going to do is the same way how we add now we're going to subtract in this lots using the same enum okay so for this in the data validity so if I, if one user who going to book the morning slot then the same day the next user shouldn't get the morning slot so other three slots he should be able to get so for that what we are going to do is so in the, we are going to change this as enum type the slot uh, morning evening uh, morning afternoon evening dinner we're going to show so for this is that it's right and in the validity column so we have four list right morning afternoon evening dinner right 
so let me save this and add allow other values so we have already discussed the difference between the enum and enum list so if you want to see the video just check out the top link and if you are new to the channel look up the app sheet expressions to learn all the important expressions in axp and subscribe the channel if you like this video share so let's save this I'll just uh, so now I am booking for today's date. So this one user who is booking for today's date. That's the morning slot. And he saves. Okay. Now the same in the slot booking, another user who's going to book. But the morning slot is already booked. So we need to show only these three. So for that, what we can do is in this formula validate we going to subtract it from the list whatever he gave in the slots which is already in the particular date so i'm going to subtract the slots from i'm going to select from the slot booking sheet and slots And for that particular date so which means the date condition should be today okay. so date will be the selected date which means uh, this row whatever the date you're going to select what does it mean is so we are going to subtract for that slots which is already booked for the particular date which we have selected okay. so now we we'll see this so i'll explain it about the expression clearly what does it does okay. so oops so the slots will give us total So one customer is already booked for morning slot for 24th July, okay, which means today's day. So and the next, so which is already here, and the next user who going to book the slot, but morning should not be at home. So it gets subtracted, and uh, the date constraint which we have given in this, so see the date should equal to the so dot date means whatever the say date we have selected that that slots only will get fetched so for example if i am going to select tomorrow's date so tomorrow's date we don't have any slot bookings so it will show all four okay morning afternoon now i am booking that uh, evening slot for tomorrow's date and i save now I'm again selecting for tomorrow's day so you won't get the evening slot so i am looking afternoon slot also of the key so date is mentioned as key so as of now we'll just give row number as key so for now i am trying to booking for tomorrow's date Oops. So even let's book for afternoon also. And again I'm booking for tomorrow's date. So you see morning and dinner on you say. So this way the particular dates so we can book the slots based on the availability, which means the previous slots is already booked, we won't show them. So this is one of the important use case of list subtraction. So using this minus operator, uh, how we had. So yeah, if you have any doubts, just leave a comments.
if you like this video just subscribe share thank you guys so in our next video we'll see about uh, um, list d reference bye guys so see you in next video